Podcast.com. Welcome back to the commute. A little late this week, but I've been working on a house and completely fried. What's wrong with DC and Warner Brothers getting these movies together? They have generations, they have decades of material to choose from, and they're producing crap. This has kind of been on my mind with the talks of the new Batman movie starring uh, Robert Pattinson. I'm not in any camp on it. I'm, I'm so far beyond caring about DC movies at this point. They've taken some of the best, most iconic characters in the entire world and made them boring. I can't get myself to care about these movies anymore. After they failed so horribly with Batman v Superman and Justice League, they said, okay, we're just going to make individual movies and none of them are going to connect. All right fine in theory, make a good movie, and if there's worth connecting, then connect it. Have they really done that yet? And then they come out with Shazam. Okay, we got a standalone fun movie. DC finally made something fun. Everyone kept describing it as fun, which it was an okay at best movie, I guess. But it wasn't standalone. There's cameos of other characters in it. If you bring in other characters, it's not a standalone movie. You're trying to say this is part of a wider world without saying this is part of the wider world. But they don't have a wider world anymore. They lost their Flash. They lost their Batman. Uh, they lost their Superman. They, they lost all the key players. Yes, they still have Wonder Woman. The, the first one, World War I Wonder Woman, was a fantastic movie. It does not look like Wonder Woman 84 is going to follow the same line. It looks like they're going to do this current pop culture thing where setting something in the 80s or 90s in itself is enough to make it a movie. At least that's what these studios seem to think. That was the problem with Captain Marvel. The very fact that it took place in the 1990s was 75% of their jokes and their setting. It's lazy and it's stupid. So they have Aquaman and its PlayStation 2 graphics. They have Wonder Woman. I guess we're getting a new Flash. We're getting a new Batman. Who knows if they're connected or not. I don't know if they're amping up for another Justice League movie. And it's just baffling that they can't these, get these characters right. Get a comic book writer who was written for DC Comics, get someone who actually understands these characters, and make one movie. It's, it's, I know I'm oversimplifying things. There's a lot that goes into these projects. It's, they should be thinking about doing the best version they can with their IP. And that kind of brings me to my next point. The best version of what they can do with their IP already exists. They have Supergirl. They have Flash. They had Green Arrow. Even Legends of Tomorrow is way better than it really should be. I don't know why Greg Berlanti isn't their guy. I don't know why Greg Berlanti isn't their Kevin Feige at this point. Take those characters that people already like, put them in the movie, make new characters, maybe abandon movies and just make great shows for people, and don't put them on an app that has 100 subscribers. But you already have a built-in audience with characters because you care. DC already has something great. Build on that. Years ago, DC had plans to make a Justice League movie. I think it was around the time the first Avengers movie came out. From what I heard, DC's plan was to reverse engineer the Avengers. They were going to make the Justice League, hopefully make it good, and based on fan reaction, they were going to spin off into individual movies. People are familiar enough with the concept of the superhero that you don't need to know Green Lantern's entire backstory to have him in an ensemble movie and then spin him off. People know who Batman is. People know who Superman is. Even the very general population can give you five facts about each of those characters. Well, I guess that was a rant more than posing a question or starting a conversation, but it's just baffling that DC can't get their act together. Thanks for taking this ride with me. Make sure to check out SubWizardPodcast.com for reviews, recommendations, write-ups, and more. Also, be sure to listen to Some Wizard Podcasts wherever you get your podcasts. And remember to subscribe to our channel. It really helps us grow our audience. We've got a lot more things in the works. Uh, we'd love to hear feedback, so drop us a line on social media. All our social media links can be found after the show or in the show notes. Or uh, leave us a note in the comment section here on YouTube. Thanks.